So you got a lot of foam right here, but there's basically no foam over here. If this thing was full of foam, it would have just be foaming up in like two seconds and spilling over the top. Then you have, you know, sodium hydroxide all over the place. You know, it's a hazard. So I got to work without hazards. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to sell this. You can tell, I mean, I, this is so basic. It's just made from scrap parts. I had some spare polycarb. Now, uh, the backflow, you had to have a good check valve for that. This bubbler doubles as also also a, a, a steam trap. You see all the condensation that's collecting over here. That's condensation that's not going to get out into the rest of your system. After running it for a few minutes, we've run out of foam, right? Because, the, you know, these things, they're, they're finicky, but, you know, they'll stabilize, in a manner of speaking. All right, so I'm going to go clean this thing out and uh, come back, probably with a second video. And you can check out that video when this thing's all clean and ready to go. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back, and I cleaned out and flushed this bubbler and scrubber combination deal. All right, it flushed out all the, uh, the gook that got caught in there. So now, we shouldn't have the problem of the foam uh, adding to the water volume in the neutralizer column before it gets to the, the standard bubbler on this side. And hopefully, hopefully this thing won't rust as much as I suspect it's rusting. Uh, I probably could just put a little seal around the bottom of it to avoid that, but you can see right now, let me adjust the camera, focus. You can see I have the vinegar level in this side, right? And the water level in this side pretty much equal, all right? You know, for the most part. This is rough estimate stuff here. But you can see uh, the vinegar is nice and clear. The water is also nice and clear. So I'm going to fire it up. And then you can see how this thing runs when it's nice and clean. I couldn't really clean out the scrubber, the scrubber column, because these tubes, these tubes are pretty much locked in there at the moment. And uh, this uh, seal up here is also, it's pretty tight. So I couldn't pop that off and wash it off without any real time wasting, you know what I'm saying? This is just for illustration anyway, so let me zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to fire it up. Alright, so now you can see you have the new gas coming out of the cell over here. It's going up to the top, coming down through this. It's going through the vinegar, neutralizing any stray electrolyte. It'll also neutralize foam. Uh, it'll stop the foam from growing out of here, right? Let me, let me zoom out. It'll stop the foam from building up in here, uh, but it won't stop the water that is added to this vinegar right here. It, it won't stop the water that's added to the, the, the neutralizing solution, which is vinegar. You could probably use acetone too. So, it, see, foam is starting to come out now. All right. Uh, let's see if it'll actually get up the entire tube and come down through the uh, scrubber. You see, it just wants to, it's inching. See, there it goes, climbing up. Okay, any second now, bam, there you go. Get slowed down a little by the check valve. So even though this check valve is not designed to be put in this position, it is having the effect of cutting back the, uh, the foam a bit, a bit. But any foam that gets down there will be neutralized. So hopefully, hopefully you can see it happen. Now I've purged the cell so much that there's not that much room for foam, or there's not that much foam left. 
in the beginning when we first ran this thing it was cranking out, out foam and this column it didn't fill up with foam but it filled up with the the water that was added to it so eventually I had to change it it was a bit of a pain in the neck so I'm gonna have to design a fill tube and a drain drain uh, little drain little drain valve or something in there now you see the foam dropping This, you can see the the liquid on this side. It's still fairly clear. That's the, actually the tube inside of there that's discolored. But the liquid is nice and clear. And the liquid over here is nice and clear. This little bit of orange down here, I don't know if you can see. But that's just residue from from when I, I, I just cleaned it a second ago. And this is prototype stuff, so cleaning it out is not exactly a priority at the moment.